Okay, this, so this is a little example of a critical path analysis. Now, if you remember, in the lecture three, we did an example just looking at the dependencies. And the first thing you need to do in a network analysis example is the dependencies. In an exam, I would recommend you sketch out your dependencies first. I should give you a template to do network analysis, but sketch out the dependencies in your answer book, because if your dependencies are incorrect, then your critical path calculations will be incorrect as well. So we did the dependencies in lecture three. What we now need to do is add in the durations for each task and change each of those nodes from just the task name to show the early start time, the early finish time, the latest start time, the latest finish time, and the float. So basically, we're taking our dependency chart and we're making it into a network diagram. In this slide, the dependency chart is the upper part. The network diagram is the lower part. The network diagram includes the early starts, the late starts, the early finishes, the late finishes. So we need to put in the duration for each of those activities. Now, the way I do this is I always do one box at a time. You have to do the forwards pass first, which means do the early start. I always do the early starts all the way through to the end. I then do the latest starts in the backwards pass, working backwards from the end. I will then calculate the early finishes and the late finishes. And finally, I'll calculate the float. So I find it useful to do one box at a time, rather than look at each one and say, well, I'm going to do the early start and the early finish. And of course, you can't do the latest start until you've been all the way through on the forwards pass anyway. So the process for doing the critical path analysis, the network analysis. The example will be shown to you as a table, a list of tasks, a list of dependencies, a list of durations. First thing you need to do, get the dependencies correct. Write them into your answer book as a little dependency diagram. Then add the durations. Do the forwards pass to calculate the earliest starting time. You cannot do the latest starting time. You cannot do the backwards pass until you've gone forwards doing the early starting time. Come backwards, do the latest starting time, then calculate the float and the early finish and the late finish, and then show the critical path. Now in the lecture, at this point, I shall pause, switch to the visualizer, and encourage you to have a go. Okay, finally, we need to start to improve the project time. We've calculated how long this project takes, but what if it finishes late? It takes longer than the customer requires. Well, the first things we need to do, check the dependencies are correct. If our dependencies are wrong, our calculations will be wrong. Next, check the durations are correct. Remember the durations, just estimates. Somebody said, I think it takes me 10 days. Now you know they're on the critical path, you can go back to them and say, look, we're finishing late on this project. You said this task takes you 10 days. You're on the critical path. Is that still the case? It could be that they can now say, all oh, right, if that's the case, it's eight day duration. Okay, if our dependencies are correct, our durations are correct, we need to reduce the duration of the tasks. And the next slide suggests some methods for that. Or, and as a last resort, remove some of the tasks from the project. Now, if we don't do some of the tasks, we're not going to achieve the functionality requirements for the project. Final solution, perhaps, ask for more time to do the project. The customer might not be happy you're asking for more time if it's a time-critical project. But maybe if the project is quality-critical or cost-critical, the customer's quite happy to sacrifice some time. How can I reduce the durations of the tasks? Well, I could add resources to some of the tasks. This may reduce the duration. But remember, that will only work for the effort-driven tasks. 
adding extra resources to fixed duration tasks will not change the duration. And getting a revised estimate of duration, suggesting that this project needs some priority if it's to finish on time, is important. 